Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be recreating one of Wow Arts paintings, which is episode number 71, Milky Way Over the Mountains. So I'm going to start off by unwrapping my canvas and I'm going to add some tape on the side so I'll have a nice white border when I'm done with the painting. Now I'm going to add some white, yellow, magenta, sky blue, some violet, ultramarine, Prussian blue and black. Then I'm going to use my palette knife to spread out all of the colors so that it will be easier for me to mix them all in. Now I'll spread out both the violets and add a bit of white so that the violet becomes much more lighter. Now at last I'm going to use my brush to spread all the colors out and to blend them all in. And for some apparent reason the violet completely ate all the blues so I added some more blue and ultramarine and again mix them all in with the purple. I wasn't happy with the shade of the blue that I had yet, so I added some more blue and ultramarine to it. I really wasn't that happy with the shade of the blue, but I knew I was about to ruin it if I did anything else to it, so I left it. I made a mistake off camera, so I went over it with the same colors and the same techniques that I used for the first time that I did, and I also added some more magenta and some yellow as well as, as some white, um, so that I get the whole fresh new beautiful canvas. The yellow is actually supposed to be much more brown than it is so I added some blue to the sides of the magenta and the yellow so that it would look much more brown and moved on to the next step which was making the furthest stars in the Milky Way. Initially I used a kitchen sponge but that didn't really work for me so I moved on to using a much more squishier sponge and the colors that I used were blue, light blue, magenta, a lot and lot and lot of white, a little little teeny weeny bit of grey, then I also used some more blue to fill in the spaces that were beside the white and then I also used some turquoise and went in with my brush to make some more close-up stars in the Milky Way. I just added some white paint to the bristles of the brush and just flickered them all around here and there. I was about to use my dotting tool when I decided to add a lot more further stars with the white, blue, light blue, magenta and turquoise because the space under the stars that I made previously was completely empty. Then I also add a little bit of Prussian blue stars and added a lot more close up stars with my brush. And then finally I use my dotting tool to make much more bigger stars with the white. Then I also use the dotting tool to make much more twinkly stars and for some apparent reason I added some brown to the yellow part but I didn't like it so I wiped it off and went directly to the part with the mountains. I made the mountains all black, completely black because of the fact that the sun is rising and I didn't really want the mountains to have much more texture and snow falling off and stuff. Then I also made a lot and lot of trees and went in with my... Then I used my detailed brush to make some comets falling into the Milky Way and added and I added two next to each other. No, I mean in front of each other, but I didn't like one of them. So I added some more white paint and made them into much more further stars. And I added a much more smaller one in front. Then I went in with my gloss mod podge just to secure the painting and I added a very very thick coat of the Mod Podge so that the painting just doesn't fade away and stays secure for the next probably 10 to 15 20 years. I used my hair dryer so that the gloss would dry much more faster and I'm pretty happy with how this came. It was nice and glossy and anyways that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.